Hello, I'm Dr. Rick Sorolla, chiropractor and founder of Sorolla Biomechanics and the inventor of the Sorolla Sacroiliac Belt. After years of treating patients, I found that as I stabilized their sacroiliac joints, their other problems improved. Back pain, shoulder pain, knee pain, foot pain, and more. I came to realize that because of the shape and position of the sacroiliac joint, a belt would be ideal for helping to stabilize it. Over several years, I experimented with other sacroiliac belts, but wasn't satisfied with the results. So one day, I sat down at my wife's sewing machine and made my own. Over more than two decades, the Sorolla belt has undergone its significant improvements and remains the top-selling sacroiliac belt on the market. It has a unique, patented, combination of materials that provides the optimal tension, durability, and function to support the trunk, pelvis, and hips better than any other belt. Here is the principle behind what I did. The sacroiliac joint is where the upper body meets the lower body. It's the center of motion in the body, the center of shock absorption, and the center of power transfer between the upper and lower body. When we talk about core, this is what we're talking about, the sacroiliac joint, not the lumbar spine. Although lumbar disc herniation can lead to extremely severe pain due to pressure on a nerve, most of us don't have extremely severe pain. The aches and pains that we learn to live with that limit our activities and burden our lives are not usually caused by disc herniation. Historically, the sacroiliac joint has been regarded as the main cause of back pain. But in 1934, the lumbar disc was also found to be a potential source of pain, and it gained prominence. Now, with the emergence of the science of biomechanics, the sacroiliac joint is regaining its standing as the main cause of back, pelvic, and hip pain and may even be the underlying cause of disc herniation. My research has shown that almost everyone has some degree of weakness, looseness, or dysfunction in their sacroiliac joints due to ligament laxity. Ligaments hold bones together at joints, but they are much more than that. They are regulators of muscle tone. They have nerves within them that send signals to the muscles to stabilize excess movement by contracting some muscles and inhibiting or relaxing others in an attempt to remove the stress on the ligaments within the joints. In other words, the ligaments are protecting themselves and they use the muscles to do it. For instance, with sacroiliac injury, some of the back muscles tighten while some of the belly muscles slacken. The imbalance of these muscles leads to dysfunction pain, and more injuries. The Sorolla belt acts like an external ligament to support the sacroiliac joints. It takes the stress off the ligaments so the muscles don't have to, so they can become more balanced. The tight back muscles relax and the inhibited belly muscles firm up. As a result, they are stronger, have more endurance, and less pain. The Sorolla belt is completely different from other belts that support the trunk such as weightlifting belts, lumbar belts, or belly bands. All of these other belts cause muscle atrophy with prolonged use because they take the place of the trunk muscles. They do the work so the muscles don't have to, leading to weakness in the muscles and instability in the lumbar, sacroiliac, and symphysis pubis joints. You can't push a muscle into shape. Muscles must be used to remain strong and healthy. In contrast to these other belts, the Sorolla belt goes low around the pelvis or hips to act like an external ligament, so it stabilizes the joints, much like how other braces work, be it the knee, wrist, elbow, or other joint. Stabilize the joint and the muscles work better. It's as simple as that. The Sorolla belt can be worn by almost anyone, including athletes, such as runners, golfers, cyclists, or those in contact sports, to pregnant women both during and after pregnancy, to factory workers, truck drivers, 
for anyone who spends a lot of time on their feet or sits for extended periods of time, or anyone performing activities involving bending, lifting, twisting, or reaching. So do yourself a favor and get us to roll the bell. Your body will thank you. <laughs>